Well, before a good workout, it's important to warm up to avoid injury and soreness later on. News 3's Karin Swanson has more in the Wednesday workout. Good morning. We are doing today's Wednesday workout with Chuck Walker from St. Clair Hospital. Absolutely. And what are we doing today? So today we're going to give people some uh, warm-up exercises. Okay. Uh, you know, old school static stretching where you just sit and reach mm -hmm. isn't very big anymore. Uh, so we're going to show you some things you can do, say, to prepare for a run or just your everyday lifting workout uh, that you can do. And it doesn't take a lot of time and doesn't take a lot of space. So it's kind of a uniform workout. Yeah. Work uh, warm, warm up. up. Yeah, warm up. There you go. Yeah, we got it. Okay, warm so what up. do we yeah. do first? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to step back this way. Okay. And we're going to do some toe walking. Uh, and your distance is really arbitrary to how you feel. So you can go farther, you can go uh, shorter distances. We're going to walk up on our toes. Okay. And we're just going to walk forward. And what is this doing? And we're just trying to stretch out the muscles and get the blood flowing through our legs. Okay, we're going to flip around and then we're going to walk back on our heels. And again, we're just, we're just trying to get our bodies moving. And uh, how, how far should we be doing these walks? You know, I would say go about 20 feet. Okay. And I think that's, that's, that's a pretty reasonable okay. distance. Next thing we're going to do is a, a walking lunge. Okay. And when we do it, we're going to twist. So we're going to come forward. We're going to rotate side to side. Yep, then we're going to bring the other foot forward. We're going to rotate side to side. And anything we should be focusing yeah, on Yeah, what I want this? you to focus on when you do this is don't let your front knee drift forward past your toes. Okay. Stay back. And you'll okay. feel that if you do. Okay. Let yourself just drop down. Do that twist. One more. Drop down. Do that twist. And do this for maybe 20 feet also? Yeah, same thing. I would probably keep the same distance for all this. Okay. So this one is called... Uh, We'll call them uh, rear kicks, okay? okay. <laughs> so what you do is you're running, you're, you're kind of running forward, and as you're doing, you're kind of popping your leg up and back behind you. Yep, you got it. I feel like I'm on dance line again. <laughs> <laughs> and that's good for getting the quads stretched out. Okay. Yeah, okay? I did feel that. Yeah, you can feel that pull through there. Okay. Yeah, just don't, just don't want to hurt yourself. When you yeah. Do that. Then we're going to take that to the front, and we're going to do high knees, like we're dancing. Crazy dancing, I guess. How high up should my knees be going? Just level? Yeah, you, you know, well, you try to get them high as you can. You want to feel that stretch back through your, uh, back through your glutes and your okay. Uh, hamstrings. Okay. okay. And then just for the upper body, you can just do some forward arm circles. And you can do these walking. Uh -huh. And you just reverse them and you do them backwards. That's Pretty still nice. I mean, it's yeah. Not, it's no big deal. Yeah. You can go across. Okay. Simple stuff. Easy work. Easy one. Yeah. Yeah, so just a number of different things that can throw all together before any time, type of workout. And you can even use them after as well. Yeah. Cool Great. down. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us Absolutely. today. And I'll be using these before <laughs> my next workout. All right. If you want to see the Wednesday workouts again later this morning, we'll be posting video of the segment on C3K2Go.com. Also, check out Chuck Walker's website, imaginefitness.net, for more workout tips and even some healthy recipes. We'll be kicking all day today. I know. Just for that. So. <laughs>